Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. Today I am starting the General Aptitude MCQ series for GATE 2018. So friends, uh, here I will solve the MCQs uh, on the different different topics like uh, uh, reasoning and whatever the questions. So today my topic is distance and the speed of train. Like most of the questions comes on the speed of train. Like what will be the length of the train? What uh, will be the length of platform what will be the the time what is the speed so it is very easy to calculate these uh, answers like uh, to come to these answers all uh, you need to do is <coughs> look at the question uh, carefully and solve it so how to solve it i'll tell you there are few formulas but i am not going into the mathematical detail of it i'll just tell you the tricks to solve it <clears throat> and that will help you for sure so what you have to do when a question is displayed on your screen you pause it try to answer it on your own anyways in the same slide or in the same <clears throat> picture i will be answering the question with solution so you first try to solve it on your own and then uh, go, then you uh, play the video so the <clears throat> friend let's start it so today i will do, do for train calculations like the, the calculation related to trains and distance and all and next video i'll <coughs> look for the different topic please let me know your feedback in the comment section so to start with okay so our first question is see a train running at a speed of 60 km per hour crosses a pole in 9 seconds what is the length of the train <coughs> so friends for anything anything related to the uh, question on the length or speed or uh, whatever you have to come for the, the first second like what what will be the change in the one second for to calculate that you need to <coughs> convert uh, see now here you see the answer is in meter uh, the answer is 120 answer b is 180 answer c is 324 answer d is 150 so <coughs> answer is in meter and the speed of the train is it given in kilometer per hour so for that i have given this formula please remember this formula if you remember this formula you don't have to remember anything for <coughs> calculating the speed uh, related uh, to answer the speed related question so here uh, kilometer per hours can be converted to meter per second uh, so the conversion is one is equal to one kilometer per hour is equal to 0 0.2778 meter per second and uh, 3.6 kilometer per hour is equal to one meter per second so you just have to use this uh, <coughs> formula remember this formula and you will able to answer now coming to our question see uh, what they are asking they are asking us to calculate the length of the train so for that uh, we need to convert this 60 kilometer per hour into a second meter per second to the one second we have to convert it so for converting we have this formula so we will use one is equal to this i am using the calculator you will not have the luxury of using the calculator friends <coughs> So you have to do it by your own. So let's see. So our uh, speed is 60 multiplied by 0 0.2778. You get 16.66. Friends, so this is a distance travel by a train for one second. So uh, see the, the train has traveled from one point like pole is one point in this uh, our question. So if you multiply this uh, pole this uh, one point into <coughs> by nine nine seconds you will get the final uh, length of the strain. So just multiply it by nine you get 150. So the, our answer for this question is D. Right friend? <coughs> Okay, I hope you have understood this. Any doubt is there? You please uh, comment in the you please comment in the comment section. So this is the answer. Answer for this question is D. Now our second question: A train with <coughs> 125 meter long passes a man running at 5 km per hour in the same direction in which the train is going in a 10 seconds. The speed of train is 
now friends here what has happened like uh, we have to calculate the relative speed of the train now the relative speed of train is if <coughs> here it is 125 meter long train is passing in 10 seconds so the for calculating the relative speed we have to divide 125 divided by 10 so the <coughs> So it is coming 12.5 kilometer per hour. As I have told you, a kilometer per hour. No, this is not kilometer per hour. It is meter per second. So friends, now the answer. If you look at the answer, what is the answer? Answer is given in the kilometer per hour. But we are given the meter per second. So to convert it into the meter per second, what you have to do? You have to just multiply it by 3.6. Multiply it by 3.6. Ah, uh, you get. 45 now you see uh, there are uh, there is option 45 here option a but that cannot be our answer see for <coughs> now for this type of question when uh, two objects are running in the same direction friends remember what i'm telling when two objects are uh, uh, moving in the same direction you have to add them they, then only you will come to the final answer when they are coming in the, when they are <coughs> moving in the opposite direction you have to subtract uh, right friend so add the relative speed of the man here what is the relative speed his speed is 5 so 5 plus 45 so our answer is 50 so b will be the answer here friends any doubt is there you can uh, comment <coughs> you can write it in the comment section now moving to the third section third question so the third question says ki length of a bridge now the, we have to they, are, they have asked us to calculate the length of the bridge friend <coughs> friends so for calculating the length of the bridge we have to calculate the speed of the train for one second now they have asked us to calculate the length of the bridge in meters so <coughs> 45 km per hour we will convert it into the meter per second so we have 45 into 0.27778 so it turns out to be 12.5 meter per second now uh, the total uh, that uh, time taken for to cross the bridge is 30 seconds you multiply this by 30 so so see friend this is 375 meter per second is the <coughs> total distance travel by the train now as you see the total distance of uh, traveled by the train is 375 but train's length also is there here so train uh, train is 130 meters long so you have to subtract this uh, 130 from 375 to get the final length of the bridge so just subtracting will give us 130 divided by sorry <coughs> so it is 245 so the our answer is 245 now uh, moving to the next uh, question okay <coughs> a train passes from a uh, passes a station platform in 36 seconds and man standing on the platform in 20 seconds if the speed of train is 54 km per hour what is the length of the platform so friends uh, nothing to worry we just have to go to the our basics calculate the speed for meter per second and that should be a 1 meter per second so here you see 54 kilometer per hour now 54 into what 0 0.2778 so it is 15 now <coughs> for us to calculate the length of the train as we did in the first question see a man is standing there if we see the man is standing on the platform and a train crosses him in 20 seconds so the time taken by a train to cross the man is its length so just multiply it by the by that so it is what so length of strain is what 300 meter it is not the length of platform friends now i will uh, tell you how to calculate the length <coughs> now it is uh, that uh, per meter train is traveling with the one sorry 15 meter per second now you multiply it with the uh, time taken by the platform 
to uh, to by train to cross the platform so 15 into 36 it is 540 minus length of the strain so length of train what was the length of the strain it was 300 as we calculate so the answer is 230 240 nanometer sorry meter <coughs> friends so this way you can calculate it in easiest way just convert whatever uh, speed uh, given to you into the the minimum that is 1 to, to the unit uh, value and then you just uh, play around the values it will be a uh, very easy <coughs> you can solve this uh, train or any speed or moving object related question based on that thank you friends if you have liked this uh, video please subscribe to our channel global online university thank you